Alrighty guys, we are going to continue coloring our rocket ship and we're going to make it look a little cooler than just a flat gray and just some other random colors. So I am going to leave all of my layers locked and I'm going to come into my top fin layer. So top fin. Select it in that layer. And I'm going to click out of it. I don't want it to be selected because I want to color each fin individually. And I'm going to get my paint bucket tool. And then I'm going to come down here either into my properties panel or at the bottom of my tools bar, either one. And I'm going to get into my fill colors. And we have this whole wide array of colors that we can choose from. If we come up into this circular shape, we can get our color picker, much like we used in Photoshop. What we're going to use are these gradients down here at the bottom. So if we take a peek, we have a linear, which goes left to right, black and white gradient. Then we have a radial black and white gradient. So this one looks like a bubble, it looks like a circle, hence the radial name. Then we have a radial red to black radial green to black, radial blue to black, and then that kind of generic sand sky gradient that always makes me think of just Microsoft and the old school colors that would come with that, and a rainbow. Lots of people seem to like the rainbow. The last one is just a color sampler from an image, and we will probably never use that, so just ignore that guy if it pops up. What we're going to do for our tail fin is the linear, the only linear one that the glass fills up, black and white. Then with my paint bucket, of course, I'm going to dump it in there. Now, we did gradients in Photoshop, and you could manipulate them and all that fun stuff through some other panels, but it's really easy to change the direction of your gradient and flash. So what I need you to find is a new tool. If you come up here to the top of your tools panel where your black arrow is, and you go three down. You're probably looking at the free transform tool. This is the tool, by the way, that resizes stuff. What we want is gradient transform. And it looks much like the gradient icon would in Photoshop. So with your gradient transform selected, I'm going to click on my gradient. You're going to notice some lines pop up. These turquoise lines are the beginning and ends of your gradient. So this side is the white side, this side is the black side. This little arrow lets me adjust how wide the white and the black appear from each other. If it's really far out, I can't even tell there's a gradient happening. If I scoot it really close, it almost looks just like two separate colors, not even a gradient. So you can adjust how strong of a gradient you have. And I'm just going to kind of leave it there like that. Maybe scoot it in a little bit more. The center point lets you manipulate where the center of your gradient is happening. So I can kind of move it around. I just want to bump around a little bit, but for the most part, I can put it wherever I want it. But the coolest thing is this little circular shape right here. And this lets me rotate my gradient. Because most of us will probably use a gradient to kind of give a lighting effect. And I would like for it to look darker out here on the tips of my fins, of my wings. So it's like they're out in outer space, but then there's light coming off my ship. So adjust your gradient to however you think it looks best for your rocket ship. But for now, let's leave it at black and white. Once you're happy with this one, come back with the paint bucket tool. You still should have that black and white gradient down there as your fill color. And dump it into this other top fin, the big one. Then adjust using the gradient transform tool, this fin also. I'm going to rotate it, I'm going to squeeze it. And 
have to move it around so you can actually see all your icons. And again, I want that black to be out here on the tip. Once you're happy with those top fins, you can lock it and move on to the bottom fins. Now don't do it all at once or it's going to be that. See how my shape was selected? And when I filled it, it poured that gradient over everything. So you don't want that. It's also putting it on top of my shadows that I just painted, and that would be counterproductive if I erased those. So you need to deselect away, click out of your bottom fin with your black arrow, then come back with your paint bucket, and you can pour it in there individually. Get it all in each fin, then come back with that gradient transform and adjust. so I can see all of my stuff. Lock that layer when you're done. Save, be a good time to save. And then move on to the rest of your body. Now I'll let you do this on your own. I'm just going to kind of go through it real quick. You don't have to really follow me on this. Do not color, though, the windows. We're going to do something in the next video with the windows. I'm also going to probably leave my exhaust vent a solid color. But if you want to color it, that's fine. Use a gradient. So here I go. tip of my nose like a pop 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 it's going so fast it fakes that's looking cool it sure does give it a little more three-dimensional shape if you're ever unhappy with any of your gradients, you can come back and fix them. You're never stuck with what you have. Okay, there are my radial gradients, excuse me, linear gradients. I'm going to lock all my layers. I'm going to be sure and save. For me, I might come back in here and make my exhaust vent black because I feel like maybe that would make it blend in a little better. But again, whatever color you want to do, that is completely fine. I am going to leave my little opening place. There we go. Okay, we used our linear gradient tool through the paint bucket to put all these colors in here. And then we used the gradient transform tool to pivot and adjust the size of all of them to give us a more three-dimensional shape on our rocket ship. Be sure and save, and I will see you in the next video.